where have you made your comfort zone more valuable than the adventure and the new experiences you can have? And, and the living that those new experiences give you that the old experiences can't. Everything that is where you destroy and uncreate it, please. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys, povads, and beyonds. Hey. Hello, beautiful people. This is Dr. Dane. Welcome to this installment of the Tour of Consciousness from lovely Rio. Oh my goodness, I am very excited. I am in Rio de Janeiro. Yeah, that's where I am. And uh, it's so beautiful. Oh my goodness, it's winter time, which means for the rest of the world, it's sort of like spring going into summer. Anyway, um, what is the tool for today? Well, it's an interesting thing. As I started this trip, I had trepidation, which is not something I usually have while traveling and actually not something I've had for a very long time. Okay, I am not only squinting. It's such a pretty view. Um, I'm not only squinting, but also, uh, did you see those big old bags under my eyes? I only slept like three hours last night on the plane. But check this out. In three seconds, I basically gave myself a facelift and a um and like a facial all at the same time because you can't see the bags and i am no longer squinting so hello how does it get any better than that so um what i wanted to bring up was i've noticed that a lot of people have sort of uh, like slowed down a bit lately well not lately you know the world sort of slowed down and did a weird thing over the last couple of years obviously but what I wanted to talk to you about is your comfort zone and the idea of inertia. Okay, inertia is an object at rest tends to stay at rest. So if you spent the last two years on a couch, you're gonna tend to be on the couch tomorrow. <laughs> you're gonna tend to want to do that just because of the inertia and the fact, oh, and now there's the wind, oh my goodness. And right before this, right, I'm turning this way now. Now you can't see me. Ah! Got to do what it's going to do to make the video work, right? And right before this, like in the course of 15 minutes, there were six helicopters that flew over. I was like, what? Am I like a helicopter training pad now? What is going on? Anyway, um, and what tends to happen is we tend to get into comfort zones where, where we'll just sort of do a similar thing or do the same thing. And we think that somehow branching outside of that is going to, it, it, it brings up an energy and we kind of go, ooh, and we shy away from that energy. What if, and my suggestion is this, okay? Run toward the thing that seems uncomfortable. And why? Well, when, when I got trepidatious as I was about to leave my house, and in the few days leading up to traveling, I was like, wait a minute, I, this never used to happen. I used to have the joy of traveling. And then I asked a question that we've asked all the time in Access, which is, who does this belong to? I realized I was aware of a lot of people that are now starting to travel. They're like, uh, I'll probably die because I don't know why, but I'm probably going to die. That's probably what's going to happen. You know, and they freak out and get weird in their head and all that sort of stuff. And, um, but I was like, wow. Uh, okay. Once I said, asked, who does this belong to? Which may be a great question to ask. And also you might want to get the, who does this belong to app and do it for three days, clear the crap out of your head. But I asked that and I was like, okay, things got a lot lighter. And then I went and there was still this energy of sort of, uh, and one, sorry, my ADHD. Ah! Um, there was still this energy of like trepidation, not quite fear exactly, but sort of in that realm. And one of the things I know is fear is often excitement that we misidentified and misapplied. And I went, oh, Am I actually excited to be traveling again? And I mean, I've been traveling, you know, but I, I was excited to come to Brazil again. And I was like, wow, okay. And I went, if I didn't misidentify and misapply this as fear or trepidation, if I didn't put it on that end of the spectrum, the dark end, the dark side of the forest, Luke, if I did not put it on the dark side, what other choices would I have available? I, I promise I will not keep talking like this for the remainder of the video, probably. Okay. 
Ooh, dive bombing bird. Woo! Probably can't see it. It was too fast. What? Man, in, out, boom, out. Anyway, and apparently the ADHD woke up as I got over my trepidation, if you may not have noticed. But what it did was it created this space where I was like, oh, cool. And everything that occurred on the trip was just total ease, like it used to be. And in the last few trips, there have been weird different things that were like, ah! And I realized, wow, I was so having a weird thing about getting out of my comfort zone about, you know, staying home like a lot of us have. Having a weird thing about traveling in the unknown. And I realized, man, and uh, you may be like me, I don't know. You may not be like me, but what I realized for me is I love the unknown. I love going and having adventures. I love going and doing new things. I love having new experiences, meeting new people, enjoying just new stuff. What about you? So everything you've done to make your comfort zone more, oh, hold on. Now I had an itch. You're not supposed to scratch yourself on camera. I guess you can scratch your nose. You're, there's other places you're not supposed to scratch while you're on camera because that's inappropriate. Okay, so but I scratched my itch. So, back to my question, back to my process. So, where have you made your comfort zone and staying in your comfort zone more valuable? Another helicopter? Are you kidding me? Rio is roughly translated not into river. It's helicopter. Yeah, we're changing the language. Anyway, back to my conversation. So where have you made your comfort zone more valuable than the adventure and the new experiences you can have? And, and the living that those new experiences give you that the old experiences can't. Everything that is where you destroy and uncreate it, please. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys, povads, and beyonds. Hey. I realized I was really close. I'm like, hello? But now you can see my bags again. Anyway, um, I think maybe this is just an ADHD adventure rant, but I wanted really that thing that we keep doing continuously of trying to stay in the same, same place, same thing, same place, same thing, just because it seems easier. Well, what if ease, no, what if trying to make things easier is the enemy of greatness? What if you could have ease, even as you explore new spaces, even as you do new things, what if you could have ease the whole time? You know the saying, we have an access, all of life comes to me with ease and joy and glory. I kind of like all of life comes to me with ooze and joy and glory. So you can ooze through life. But what about that as a possibility? So everything that doesn't allow you to proceed, no, be and receive. The possibility for actually having new things come to you with these, getting out of your comfort zone, and just do one thing in the next couple days that is out of your comfort zone. Just one thing, just try it out and see how it works. And if you like that, maybe do another, and then maybe another, and then maybe you'll start living your life from no longer the comfort zone, but from the adventure of choosing in every 10 seconds what you'd like to be, what you'd like to do, and how you'd like to live. So thank you very much for going with me on a dynamically ADHD rant. I hope this was a contribution. And if not, I hope at least you got some beautiful scenery as I get out of the way. I hope you got, you know, got a little of the real vibe. And uh, I look forward to being with you next time on the next tour of consciousness. And by the way, got a class coming up, thriving or surviving. I'm probably gonna be talking a little bit about comfort zones on that thing too, huh? Yeah. I got one that's a, a couple hour class and I got another one that's a three day class. So um, you are warmly welcome, warmly welcomed, invited to join if you would like. And if not, I hope this video was a contribution to you. And what if you truly being you with no need of the comfort zone, but instead choosing the adventure and the fullness of being alive are the gift, the change and the possibility this world requires. Thank you for being my beautiful friends. Thank you for watching. I look forward to being with you next time. Bye-bye.